ready for dictation start this is an application for grant of bail to the applicant accused under section 437 crpc bracketed inadvertently mentioned as section 439 crpc bracket close stop para reply has been filed by the io wherein the io has vehemently opposed the bail application on the ground that release of applicant accused will be prejudicial in maintaining public tranquility and will create further serious law and order situation there are chances that the applicant accused will create communal disharmony stop para at the very outset all the offenses alleged against the accused except for offense under section 153a ipc are bailable in nature hence the hearing in the present application is confined to non bailable offense alleged against the accused stop para shri vikas singh learned senior advocate on behalf of applicant accused submits that this is blatant abuse of power by the police police cannot apprehend anyone indiscriminately it is submitted that it is an admitted fact that the applicant accused was present on the spot in the morning and not at the time of alleged incident relating to hate speech committed under section 153 a ipc the applicant accused has left the spot at or around 11 am and reached his home around 12:15 pm in ghaziabad learned senior advocate submits that he has seen the video personally and on perusal of the said video it can be seen that the hate speech was made after it rained however the applicant accused has left the spot even before the rain started learned senior advocate submits that all the offenses except for the offense under section 153 a ipc are bailable for the purpose of section 153 a ipc it is imperative that the hate speech should have been made at the instance of a person or the person should have actively participated in making such remarks which promotes enmity between different groups it is submitted by learned senior advocate that had the accused been present on the spot at the time of commission of the alleged offense the accused should have been arrested then and there even otherwise the fir should have been registered soon after the alleged offense was committed however usual of the fir clearly shows that the fir was registered belatedly stop para learned senior advocate further submits that the mandate of section 41 a crpc is violated as neither any notice was served upon the applicant accused nor any justification for arrest of the applicant accused is provided as clearly all the offenses alleged are having imprisonment of less than 7 years learned senior advocate submits that applicant accused is being illegally incarcerated and therefore bail should be granted to the applicant accused forthwith stop para learned senior advocate shri siddharth luthra supporting the contention of learned senior advocate shri vikas singh submits that it is a clear case of non compliance of the anish kumar judgment which is applicable in the present case learned senior advocate has placed lines upon the order passed by honorable supreme court of india in 
Munawar versus State of MP wide order dated 6 2 2021 where the petitioner was released on bail although interim due to non compliance of Anish Kumar judgment learned senior advocate further submits that the case of the applicant accused is distinct from the other accused person learned senior advocate further submits that the applicant accused may be a part of the meeting at particular point of time but that does not imply that he shall be blamed for each and everything that may have happened in his absence hence the applicant accused be released stop para countering the submissions made on behalf of applicant accused learned app for the state has pointed out two main points of concern as far as the applicant is concerned stop